everyone, this is Faye Renee. Welcome back to Movie Reviews with Faye Renee. Today I'm going to review Pet Cemetery. <laughs> if you have not subscribed to my channel, please hit the red subscribe button. Just hit it one time and uh, we'll get right on with the review. If I have not told you, I'm a big fan of Stephen King's. I hope this adaptation is what we want it to be. I actually have about three shelves of Stephen King. Some of them I pulled out. But as you can see those big letters, the red huge font he uses you see misery stephen king he, the dark half all that stephen king even the purple book. this whole shelf is stephen king and i've taken some out but um he's amazing anyway oh there's a waste i gotta read that again all right here we go okay stephen king's novel look background here uh pet cemetery was was adapted the first time by Mary Lambert for the screen in 1986. The second time was uh, this year, 2019. I thought there was a third time, I don't know why. Maybe there was some special or something, but I thought I saw some type, I don't know, I couldn't find it online, so I'm probably mistaken, but in my heart, I thought there was a this was a three-time adaptation. I feel like every time I look around, they're making Stephen King's films over, you know, adapting them to the screen, so maybe I just got confused. But anyway, here we go. Pet Cemetery <laughs> is a modern-day tale set in an old-fashioned town in Maine. You know, Stephen King loves Maine. Okay, there's Dr. Creed and his wife and two children. They moved from the bustling city of Boston because they want a quieter, a better way of life. You know, we all do. But the setting in this town is could be anything. <laughs> it's very murky. The look of this film is really nice. It gives you the creeps. It's kind of creepy. You know, if I'd moved in that house, I would have moved out <laughs> the next day. But anyway, <laughs> they move into this house and they meet this old man, this old crotchy man that's nice, their neighbor Judd Crandall, played by John Lithgow. Uh, the cast in this movie is excellent. They're all pros. Jason Clark is in this movie. He's been in everything. I just saw him in Aftermath, but he's great. He's the main lead. He's the doctor, uh, runs the family. And then, you know, there's the wife. The wife, Rachel Creed, is played by Amy Simmons. Ellie, who is nine-year-old, their daughter, she was a really good actress. She was played by Jette Lawrence. And then there's Gage, the baby. He's played by Lucas Lovey. And then there's Fat Church the Cat. Found now, Church the Cat is played by eight cats. Eight. Eight cats. All divas, as the director said. Took, that's what it took to play Church the Crazy Cat in this movie. Anyway. <laughs> While it's a beautiful town, where they live, it's a very, very murky background and forest. And it's kind of spooky. And it really has that Stephen King feel. Uh, the director, they did a good job of production, whoever does that. And it had you, you had that, that, that feeling of, I wonder what's going to happen next in the Stephen King way. Because, you know, he is a crazy mind. So you just don't know what's going to happen. You really don't. He's very good with that. In his writing and the directors so far have been adapt, doing the adaptation accordingly. I like that feeling of not knowing what's coming next, but just don't make it any stupid stuff. <laughs> so for all of you Stephen King lovers, if you go and see the movie, which I'm sure you will, the big question is, did this adaptation live up to the original? Did it live up to Stephen King's novel, his idea in the first place, the very premise of it? I think it did, and then it didn't. And I'll tell you why. Because I didn't like the ending uh, and that's because this Pet Cemetery does have a couple of twists from the original. And the twist in themselves, they really actually worked. I, I had read about the twist before I went to see it, and, and I wanted to see it on screen. And it actually worked. It, it was pretty good, the twist. Yet, the, the twist beget the ending, and the ending is what I didn't, didn't like too much. Maybe they wanted me to feel that way. I didn't feel complete. <laughs> like I should after seeing a Stevie King film. Anyway. Okay, so I conclude that the twist and plot in this new pet cemetery, it actually did work. Just based on the merit of Stephen King's mind, this pet cemetery adaptation was brought to life yet again. It was. The movie moved fast and was pretty good. I guess I hesitate to say it was great. It, I thought it was good. Uh, however, it, it was not bad. But I'm comparing it to Stephen King's uh, original novel and original uh, screen adaptation. 
adaptation. So if you've never seen Stephen King before, then you probably have a different take on it. In the end, I do recommend it. I give it a 3.5 out of 5. For Stephen King lovers, you got to go see it just to make the comparison. You can't resist it. As always, thank you for your support. Hit the subscribe button, like the videos, share the videos, share the links, tell your friends. <laughs> And Stephen King lovers, I've been interested to know uh, what do you think that the movie make the mark. And remember, don't trust no cats. They're cats. <laughs> Next time I'll catch you. This is Faye. Bye.